The ideal telescope would have great optics, a sturdy tripod, and an accurate mount for precise pointing of the scope. The problem with this ideal telescope is that the mount and tripod cost twice as much as the optics. By sacrificing a good mount and tripod, you can save a lot of money and still have great optics. Consider the Celestron Nexstar 8SE versus the CGM 800. They both have the same optics, but one has a sturdier mount and tripod and costs a thousand dollars more. Many people opt for the less expensive mount and tripod, and the first thing they discover is that it's hard to focus. And the reason for that is that anytime you touch the telescope, you get vibration. If your hand is on the focus knob, there'll be so much vibration that you can't tell if you're in focus or not. You have to take your hand off, wait for the vibration to stop, and then decide if you have good enough focus or not. And you're always going to wonder if you could get better focus by turning the knob a little bit one way or the other. One solution many people try is motorized focus. Here, you attach a motor to the focus knob and wires run to a box that you hold in your hand. And you push buttons to change the focus. The motor turns the focus knob without excessive vibration. This should allow you to get focus about as good as you would with the sturdier mount, which allows you to focus using your own fingers. Another solution is the Batinov mask. This is named after its inventor, Pavel Batinov, who's a hero with astronomers because he came up with a way not to just get good focus, but perfect focus. Perfect focus is needed for astrophotography, but is also desirable for visual use. The advantage of the Batinov mask is that it will allow you to know when you have perfect focus, and you'll no longer wonder if you could get better focus by turning the knob a little. This basically solves the problem of focusing a telescope with a wobbly tripod. The Batinov mask is inexpensive. You can make one out of cardboard you have laying around your house. In the video description, I'll provide links to where you can buy a plastic one like this. To focus your telescope with a Batinov mask, you have to point your telescope at a star. You can't use a planet or the moon, and the star can't be the sun, so it won't work in the daytime. You focus your telescope as best you can without the mask, and then you hang the mask on the front of the telescope like this. If you are pretty close to being in focus, you will see something that looks like this. As you turn the focus knob, the center streak will move relative to the other two streaks. When the center streak goes right through the middle of the X formed by the other two streaks, you have perfect focus. Now you can remove the mask and point your scope at the moon. Of course, this animation was made without showing the vibrations. In reality, you will see something like this. You have the same problem as before, except with the mask, you can know when you have perfect focus, and that means that you're done.